Thank you. Uh, I think we're going to have to revisit the issue of user-generated content one more time. I know that you and the minister and other officials insist uh, that you're not regulating user-generated content, but I think it's a bit of uh, parsing of the words. You will regulate the platforms, and then the platforms will impose your rulings and directives. As you said, you won't manipulate the algorithms. You will make the platforms do it. That is regulation by any by another name or by a name that you're, you're regulating either directly and explicitly or indirectly, but you are regulating content. Um, uh, you, you're right. Thank you, Senator. Um, it's a pleasure to see you. Um, it, um, we sat on a board together a long yep. time ago. <laughs> <Indeed>. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm not sure I have seen you since then. Um, um, where do I begin? I, I can turn to um, my legal counsel, but I think you've already heard how the commission um, is tightly constrained. I take your point, um, and the word regulation in that sense is, as you're using it, is very, very broad. I mean, we're, we're subject to all kinds of regulation daily. Um, the point that I'm trying to make and, and your, your, your reference to the algorithm is a good one, is to say that we don't need to, to, if you will, dig into a company's algorithm and manipulate it, as is being done in, in a number of countries. And in fact, the act precludes it. What I was making reference to is regulation in this case is driven by what we are trying to achieve. What is the desired outcome? And then we set a framework to encourage those providers to deliver on that outcome. So we do that today with conditions of service. We don't tell CTV what to produce, but we tell them that we want to invest a certain amount of money in Canadian programming or the cable industry providing a specified amount of money to the Canada Media Fund. Um, and it's that nature of regulation at the, at the you know, level writ large not regulating user gener users at all or the uploading of user-generated content. I hope that clarifies it. Yeah, further. it's just hard to imagine that you can regulate a platform without regulating what's on it because it's kind of one and the same. Um, but let well, me just ask a question okay. about the, the time frames and for these platforms who uh, do not know what the rules will be and you are supposed to be sorting that out over... Again, I don't know how long a time. And I think that some of the fears are is the platforms are going to say that may not be worth it. We're going to have to invest a whole lot of money and we're not sure that in the end we're going to be allowed to do what we do now. So maybe we'll just um, exit Canada in that way. Or the other side, which is they're going to continue to err on the side of caution in terms of implementing your proposals. And that tends to punish not the big players, but the smaller players. I think, I guess I would start by saying perhaps I have more faith in um, the power of the Canadian market and Canadian consumers um, than, than that statement um, would, uh, would entail. I don't think anyone's going to leave Canada, and I don't think there will be anything in a future regulatory framework that will drive them away. 